Thank you, thank you for very productive and wonderful guidance. Uh, oh. I see the results right away. Yeah, I, I enjoy it. All, all, you know, uh, three prayers, they have a different character. And, you know, it's great to hear all the time, you know. I'm, I'm sure everyone will uh, remember everything you work and oh. you, you mention because it's, it's really valuable to see someone with your kind of experience, lifetime experience. <laughs> and it's, it's really, for me, it's, um, it's really, I enjoy watching you, observing you teaching because I see how much you enjoy and how much you perhaps develop a new ideas. You just don't, um, you know, don't, don't nail something and stay on, on the same kind of path. And I see that how you evolved even uh, approaching some of the passages in, in this concerto and it's <laughs> I, I will definitely consider i already tried I, I i tried my violin i tried some of the passages because i remember you said something different 30 years ago oh really and, yeah about those chords <laughs> but i tried i tried it really works uh. it really works because it res resonates you if you give it enough edge to the chord it still rings through oh. <laughs> so although you play shorter but it still uh has you know, after sound, which creates the length in the or in in the chords. Yeah. Well, so, uh, th this is all those things. Basically, I also learning from the student. You know, because they they have a uh, all the slightly different approach, and that's giving me all the time I open. <laughs> this is wonderful. You mentioned yeah, because it's an ongoing process. It's it's it's. Yeah. It's great. Actually, we, uh, I know we're almost out of time and I appreciate everyone who is staying. We have many, many attendees who are still with us. I just wanted to ask you, because of course you've heard so many wonderful young uh, musicians over many, many years of teaching. I, I don't know what are the numbers. It's hard to, to even imagine. Can you just think what are the most essential qualities among some of the, of course, the talent that doesn't, doesn't hurt to have a talent. But I'm talking about something one try to develop or focus in their studies. What are there? Maybe you can name a few important qualities in order, you know, when you observe the student development and you see that certain quality really help. And with another very talented uh, student, somehow it doesn't really doesn't really uh, help to to achieve a next next level. What are those qualities in your mind? Well, to me, like when I was young, or when I started to teach, you know, or listen to the audition or uh, jury, you know, uh, how they play instrument, you know, managing technically, that's all uh, my focus first when, then some sounds or musical things. But then uh, after many, many years, you know, it's like when I hear, it's not have to be perfect when they, you know, come in at the audition or a jury. But, you know, the art to me, it's what kind of internal they have an energy, not only physically, but the emotional level. You know, that kind of energy and when we start to walk the student who make the progress and the improvement uh, in a many way sometimes slow sometimes so uh, fast doesn't matter but the student have more curiosity it's developed and they get what they want absolutely so, yes yeah yeah first of all uh, they have to be they can get it like when I was walking with Mr. Delay, you know, one of the very fast uh, Wieniawski short piece, and I felt like my finger doesn't go like Heifetz moves. <laughs> so Dorothy Delay gave me, okay, try this way. So she put a metronome, but she didn't tell me how fast. So slow, and I have to do passage. Then she put speed up. Gradually. So she didn't tell me the, what is the metronome speed. 
So then when I have a little problem, oh, go softer, play smooth, but fast. Then finally, when I get the limit, she turned, okay, this is your tempo. Go back home and listen to Heifetz recording and check the metronome speed. <laughs> and my finger was moving faster, <laughs> you know? So then something, then you start to have the encouragement. So you feel like maybe I, we could do, <laughs> you know? Maybe in, even like starting with a two bars, but then next then, you know, that kind of things. But the student had all the time curious and coming with the, you know, oh, I have a question before the lesson. This, 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 this. <laughs> you know, sometimes <laughs> student like that. Then uh, it's, I'm very interested and that's a part of the key. Also some student, one, suggestion they make out of it like expanded to 10 different ways some student i talk 10 different way to focus they get only still one <laughs> so uh there's a difference so you know progress speed for me some student goes beginning slow boom some student goes whoo but then, same. So it's in a way, one year or five years, 15 years. Once 15 years you have it, you have it. <laughs> so don't rush. And it doesn't matter, you know, these days like young kids playing parallel concert like nine years old, <laughs> it's not necessary. <laughs> you know, if they can, yes, good. But doesn't mean, you know, they have to reach, you know, repertoire like that. So they, you know, believe, you know, what they could do. And, uh, you know, of course we had to work hard, but they have own paces, you know, students are different. Yeah. You have so many students, uh, former students who are very successful. They, um, one position in uh, in orchestras, they won competitions. They are all over the world, I think now, not only United States. Um, do you have advice for younger students how to prepare for auditions for competitions? Something also you, because you're so successful with your students. Well, uh, you know the competitions is uh, for the young people or uh, any uh, age generation. Uh, I think it's a good goal to put the uh, repertoire together and uh, they hear a different uh, opinion from the judges or, you know, uh, so result, if you uh, win, something is great, but it's more important for the process. And uh, to do that, uh, part of the experience, you know, uh, but uh, uh, of course, all those technical things, you know, like uh, uh, security or those things, you know, uh, these, uh, any competition you go, uh, they require and expecting to have those things. But then after that, all the time, what is their own personal music making and what they do the uh, uh, style for the different uh, uh, repertoire you know those things but uh, uh, it's just constant uh, uh, preparation so young people they feel like oh this piece is easy I can prepare in two weeks three weeks but cert, some people they go through many times so so i suggest for the competition there's a three period they should make first study then they put the piece you know first study means certain levels memorize and second study they might 
find something different from the first study. Then our third stage is not concentrate only one piece one by one. How they have a also physical and mental energy keep you know play through the music in a two days, three days. So all the kind of try to set up yourself, you know, to actually what's happening on the stage. You know, they have a first round, then finals, finals, between that three days, sometimes only two days. <laughs> then you have to change the recital program or all those things. So uh, mentally you have to be ready. When you go there, you don't have a chance to practice. Basically go through the thing. So all the uh, process, you know, work the, all the details, how you want to make your own music is a very first part, second part. So not only one study and go, like three months, to me. That's what I suggest to the student. Absolutely, wonderful, wonderful advice. And when you are actually in a jury, mm. when you're listening to somebody you don't know, uh -huh. and what, what is actually things you are excited to hear? What makes you feel that this is the person I would like to vote for? Well, you know, uh, you know, everybody making, you know, here and there, like all technical, you know, mistakes, you know, or uh, control, but more like, you know, like how much of the, uh, their uh, musical communication skill, what they wanna, you know, tell us, and uh, their energy. So to me, it's, you know, everything playing nice, clean, you know, it's good, but even some, some you know, like there's like, let's say 10 judges, is a player, it's really strange style. But maybe one or two judges, they like. Maybe if eight of them, they don't like, this candidate doesn't go to the next round. But if person has, okay, is this okay? I'm doing fine. I don't like. Even, you know, the player says, okay, this is my music, come to me. Even you don't like it, that's okay. But this is my music, like really present. That's more interesting for me. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I, I, absolutely. I, I'm glad you're saying this because I also agree and I tell my students, of course, everyone is trying to get perfect, but this is not the ultimate point. Mm -hmm. And so many young musicians now play on an incredibly high level. Mm -hmm. And in order to really to, to grab anyone musical attention, especially during the competition or auditions, I think one really need to possess this very individual approach to the music, especially to the music we've been hearing for, you know, centuries. <laughs> yeah. Everyone plays Brahms and, and Tchaikovsky and all those concerto. So just to pl just to play it perfectly well or fast or, I don't know, impressive, it's not enough. It's what is important is to develop some kind of interpretation that yeah we are as a listeners mm. are going to be awake and will be, be taking and will as you mentioned you will learn something from the students so it's a great uh, sense when you hear somebody when you in a jury and you listen they say ah this is very interesting this yeah. is a very interesting idea or this, this, this phrase developed an incredible character i would never think about this or this um or this uh, approach to the piece gives a very different light to this music. So I think it's what you said, and I, I'm happy because uh, I, I feel very much the same way. It's uh -huh. what we look, 
when we listen, especially when you hear many, many people, and sometimes you don't even remember some of the people play, they play well, but you half of sleep because, you know, yeah. they play well, but then somebody comes and start playing and suddenly you feel that energy is coming. You want to hear it for the sixth or for the tenth time, the same piece, because this, this person is making this music yeah. alive. And I think this is the beauty of our, our profession that, you know, everyone can bring a different, different angle, different point to the music, different interpretation. If it's sincere, if it has certain depth, understanding, and of course, convic conviction, conviction in what they do. It's, they have to be very, uh, they have to trust in what they feel that, that this is, this is my baby. This music is this interpretation. I feel that way. Yeah. I I'm going to stand no matter what. <laughs>